turn three. Now the Jack Lennon did finally get to one on the Lady Spargo. Oh, oh really? Really? Yeah. 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 This will be a red flag. This has got to be. Is someone else down there? Is that Sabadori as well? Yeah, What's happening here? This, this is a red flag. This has got to be no, a red flag. flag. Red flag's coming. Something has happened here over. Yeah, yeah red flag out. Race stop. Turn three. Yet again. again. Turn three. Yet again. Something's going on here between Alexis yeah, Spargo and Alexis Spargo. Spargo is well. saying that the same thing has happened. I'm wondering if Sabadori has crashed because Sabadori's bike is there and Danny Pedrosa as well. There is Danny, Danny Pedrosa. Danny Pedrosa is okay as well. I've got a feeling, Matt, that Sabadori's crashed his bike or something. He's gone steaming up towards I mean, now let's wait and see well, what happens. But two hopefully, bikes on fire by the looks of riders it. Are, both riders are okay. Danny Pedrosa, what a relief it is to see that he's yeah, up on his feet. Danny Pedrosa up. Not the way he was hoping to return to Moto oh, GP. Yeah, and Sabadori, we hope that Sabadori's okay as well. Turn three again, we have that horrendous, horrifying, super scary crash there last year with the contact between Zarco and Morbidelli when, of course, the miracle escapes of Vinales and Rossi and, and yet again with Pedrosa and Sabadori. We were just about to complete that number three and what had already been a really traumatic Syrian Grand Prix. Wow, what has happened here? I mean, we saw... Well, this, is, this is a humongous cleanup operation yeah. now. It really is. We saw a terrifying accident here last year. One that took us all by surprise. Why Martin here? Everyone just coming back into pit lane. Well, but it's another incident at turn three that has brought a red flag out. Over the line, Steve. Danny Pedrosa was 12th and Salvador was way back in 21st place. They weren't racing each other, were they? No, and that's what makes me wonder what, what on earth has happened. You can see them. Let's have a look here. We know riders are okay. What has happened here? Oh, no. Pedrosa's... Oh, so Pedrosa has high-sided. His bike's in the middle of the circuit, and I think right. then Salvador is clattered into it. Yeah, and he's just obviously ruptured fuel tank. It's everywhere. And we've got a, a fireball red flag, and this is going to be a, a really lengthy cleanup operation here. And of course, this could also factor in some rain later on too. It really could. Wow. Yet more drama in Styria. We've had it in both races. There were red flags in both races here last year. And an early red flag yet again. Wow. Well, there's bound to be some questions asked because three red flags in three races here in Austria. Joan Mir there then. Got to try and keep his composure. He's gone across the line and in fourth place. The new race is going to be 27 laps. That's only what, one lap shorter than originally planned. So that's the that went down there out of turn three. It's, it's quite fortunate that really only one rider, one of the riders was tangled up in that incident. You can see there some uh, anxious faces in the, uh, the crowd. Yeah, well, that will be a very lengthy cleanup operation. Original grid positions because I don't think everybody has completed the amount of laps for you to then effectively uh, start from where you were crossing the line. So, what just happened there effectively in the race uh, is forgotten. So, this start, the initial start, means nothing effectively because they will start from their original grid positions and it will be a 27 lap race. Oh, there's contact there between Mark Marquez and Alicia Spargaro. Is that what maybe Alicia Spargaro yeah. was alluding to on the in-lap? Yeah, didn't see the, the, the contact, but I clearly saw that Alicia Spargaro had a moment. Well, here we are. we on board with Mark? No, there you see it. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that's why Alicia had the moment. More than a bit too yeah, peaky through turn one there. Yeah. That was uh, aggressive indeed from Marquez, and he put a hard move on Fabio Quattro, did he? Not long after. Yeah, that was hard, and he, he let Marquez know about it as well afterwards, didn't he? 